Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. Here's my completed Lego church. It measures 16 by 32 studs deep and is half modular in size. I did not design it to be modular compatible in the sense that it can be set in between two modular buildings due to the out jog roofs on the sides, but it can fit between two buildings. This was originally designed for my metro city, but will now be placed in the uptown section of Small Brick City. Incidentally, Uptown will be going through a major overhaul and I'll be doing an update early next month as I just don't have the time this month due to constant travel. I'm also waiting for some of the new 2019 sets to incorporate it into the city. Back to the church. Thanks to everyone who gave comments and suggestions for the interior decoration as well as the story for this church. A shout out to ZG Brick Films, Blockhead UK, Connor K, D4 Bricks, Gala Gade, or maybe it's Gala Gade, Brick Bakery, Ozzy Adam, T.S. Hartoft, Oliver Johan Bergheim, C Bricks Tutorials, Epic Epic 101, Cecilia FX, Justin Gamble, Tonina Sata, James Doble, Brick Island, Eagle Bricks, Charles Smitten R, Lego Stop Motion, Jim 43, Lego Man 123 and Joe McLeod Iredale. I read and considered everyone's comment. While I did not take any one person's comment completely, they did guide me into the eventual direction that I took. So thank you to all. My goal is always to create a layered story that is entertaining, intelligent, and hopefully thought provoking in one way or another. First, let's have a look at the exterior. As you can see, one major feature is the inclusion of lights to emphasize the stained glass window above the door. Subscriber Brick Island suggested I use lights to make the stained glass windows at the back pop or be more pronounced. You can see it slightly, but of course, if I lift off the roof, you get a clearer look at these stained glass windows and I'll show you that in just a bit. There aren't any light bricks used here, but I am using light bricks here. So it's a big coincidence because just when Brick Island mentioned this, I received some lighting kits for Lego builds as a present. This product is called Light Stacks and is very different from other lighting kits that I've seen. I'll show it to you in just a bit. The church itself is fairly simple, but it's realistic for this form of church. I changed the base of the sides to sloped bricks. This is to give it more texture and a sturdier looking foundation. Coincidentally, Brick Bakery suggested that I add inverted slopes underneath the roof to make the sides more interesting. I didn't do that, but I did add them to the bottom and I think it does add to a bit of the build. I added one more grilled window to each side of the build. Unfortunately, I ran out of black grills. That's why this one is white. We can just assume it is a replacement window that has not been painted. I added modified white bricks with a groove in the front, these right over here and here. This gives the front of the build more texture and also makes it more interesting so it doesn't look so flat. Overall, while not a large church or cathedral, I think it is a reasonable size in the context of a Lego city. Now let's get into the story that I wrote for this church. As you can see, there are protesters at the front of the church. They're against a civil union that is taking place inside the church. Small Brick City is a progressive city that is all-inclusive and we want to promote equal rights. But some people feel that this union is unnatural and should be stopped. But unfortunately, or rather, but fortunately for the couple inside, they're going to realize their lifelong dream. Let's take a look inside. And here's a top view of the church. The back of the roof can be completely removed just like any modular building. And today we're celebrating the wedding between Fifi and Snowflake. For years, they've said that canines and felines do not belong together. But against all odds, Fifi and Snowflake are finally going to get a piece of paper that allows them to spend the rest of their lives together even though that was already what they were doing all this time. But now they can legally make mutant cat dogs which will end civilization as we know it. The head of this church is giving them the official blessing with a dog bone, which I assume is not from an actual dog, otherwise that will be creepy. You can see the pulpit, altar and stained glass decorations on the back wall and I think all of this came together really nicely. 
A quick word on the technique for the stained glass windows. Before I built this, I did do some research on stained glass window techniques. I found a couple of tutorials on YouTube. No one credited anyone, so it's hard for me to give credit. Uh, but there are different techniques and you can check them out yourself. Some of the more popular techniques included using the fan towel piece, where you inserted transparent studs into the corners of that fan towel piece. Another popular technique was to use window frames and put cheese wedge pieces inside, but use clear tape to hold them in place. I didn't like that, that's not really a legal technique. So I came up with this method here. Now I'm sure someone probably has independently come up with this method, but this is something that I thought of myself. But of course, someone probably has already thought of this before, just not published it. In this case, I use fence pieces. Each window uses two pieces and I'm using a snot technique that studs not on top to hold the fencing in place. So they're held at 90 degree angles with modified bricks with studs on the side. On the fencing pieces, I place transparent round studs to cover the holes. And on top in the center, I have one by one transparent colored plates. In the middle, I do have a one by two plate that kind of holds the two fencing pieces together. Well, this is basically just to make sure there are no gaps or holes in the fencing. And that's how you get the very nice stained glass look from the outside. And let me take this opportunity to show you the stained glass windows from the outside. With the light coming in, you can see it really pops and you can get that stained glass effect. And I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially with the framing of the windows with this grey brick. Well, back to the wedding ceremony. As you can see, lots of friends have joined in for the ceremony. Let's start at the front. Many animal friends, a parrot, a cat, a chicken and a cat, dogs, a bear even there. We've got a photographer and we've got some people from the village who have come out to support this event. There's a construction worker, a cowboy, Native American, and even a policeman. Above, you can see the light stacks. This is what I incorporated into the build and I think it's a really cool self-contained lighting kit. It runs on a rechargeable brick battery that measures 4 studs by 4 studs. That's that black brick right over there. So there are no wires or anything. The bricks are actually built onto this battery pack which is a brick in itself. And you can see there's this button. Now there are 4 different modes or controls uh, that you can create with this switch. So right now it's just on so it's illuminating illuminating light. I've got uh, different lights here. I've got some studs, I've got white light bricks and on the outside I've got some uh, colored bricks. So I've got actually three layers of colored bricks and I will be doing a separate uh, review on this light stacks and I'll show you exactly my setup in the next video and you can look forward to that. Uh, that will be coming out tomorrow. But with this switch you can actually change the pattern. So right now we just have it on a static pattern. But after this wedding ceremony, we can create a disco and they can have a party with a disco going on inside the church. So this is pretty cool and I think it adds to the overall look of the church and really enhances this mock. I hope you enjoyed this look at my completed church. If you've been following my channel, you know this has been a work in progress for several weeks and it started out as a tiny, small, old church. And if you want to check out that video, do follow the link in the card above or in the description below. In that video, I highlighted the different techniques I used to create the old look, the ingots used here in a, uh, attached to these modified bricks to create a very ornate look. I also shared how I created the steeple and the bell. So check out the video if you like details for that. Personally, I'm really happy with how this church has turned out. I didn't originally intend to have this in my Lego city, but I think it will fit very well into uptown of Small Brick City. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.